What is up guys? My name is Jakutep and I just got back from IKEA and let me tell you that was the worst experience I have ever had. Besides the point, we are here with a tag. I saw my friend do this tag. Her name's Margie. Her link is in the description if you want to go check her out. Uh, and yeah, so the tag is called the scariest tag. So we're going to jump straight into this and we're going to read the first question, which is scariest real life experience. Uh, so the, my scariest real life experience probably it happened quite recently. I think last week, maybe um, I was just sleeping in the good old bed right there. It was uh, close to midnight, maybe one o'clock. And I heard some yelling outside, there was drunk people outside because, you know, it was a Saturday and people like to party on Saturdays, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, so um, they, were, they were yelling at each other and um, I heard a massive, like, bang. And um, one of them threw a bottle at uh, my window. Like, it, they threw it at the house, but it nearly went through my window. And the other person banged on our front door. So I thought people were trying to fucking break into my house. And it wasn't like my dad wasn't here, it was just my mum and my brother. So I was the fucking person in charge to just beat the shit out of anyone who comes in the house. And I don't like doing that. So I grabbed a pair of scissors because I couldn't find my Swiss Army knife. So I was, I was just looked like a total dipshit with a bunch of scissors in my hand. I don't know what I was thinking, but like I was trying to like far cry that shit through the fucking stairs. I was looking around, the alarm was on, my dog was was going, he wasn't going ape shit, so I knew, uh, it was suspicious that no one was downstairs, but it, like, we kind of just stayed upstairs, and uh, it turned out they just threw a beer bottle and just fucking with, was just fucking with us. That was my scariest real life experience. Um, it doesn't sound that scary, but at the time it was pretty scary. Um, question two, scariest paranormal experience. Um, I don't really remember. As a kid, like, uh, I saw some stuff that are probably... I haven't had a really bad paranormal experience. I mean, I, sometimes I hear shit and it scares the fucking shit out of me because I know my parent, I know my mom and dad are sleeping and then I know my brother's sleeping so there's no one there and it's just me up playing video games. But I hear shit. Like, I hear, I can hear walking and stuff. Uh, it's weird. It might just be me being tired. I don't know. Um, but another thing is, like, when I was little, uh, and there was, you know, um, kids, uh, if you're watching this, cover your ears, uh, right now, I th when there was Santa, you know, um, I, it was not really paranormal, but I looked out my window, I always look out my window on Christmas Day, and I looked out my window, and there was this, like, long string thing flying in the sky, and I swear to God, I fucking saw it. And it was, it looked like Santa in his sled, but obviously probably wasn't. Uh, kids, don't question me on that one. But uh, yeah, so that's the closest I've got to seeing a paranormal experience. But uh, other than that, not really. Um, question three, have you ever known anyone convicted of a violent crime? <sighs> no, I don't think I have. I don't know anyone that's convicted of violent crime. I try to stay away from those people. Uh, question four, are you afraid of the dark? Why or why not? Uh, I used to be afraid of the dark as a kid, like, what kid's not afraid of the dark? Like, it's fucking scary. It's scary shit, man. But right now, no, no, I'm not, I'm not afraid of the dark. Like, I mean, there are other moments when you turn the lights off downstairs and you just do that run upstairs, just like, because you think something's behind you, but uh, <laughs> uh, that might just be me, I don't know. But uh, other than that, uh, nothing, I'm not afraid of the dark, um, not really anymore, I'm a grown man myself, I'm not afraid of the dark. Uh, question five, five, does your hometown have any stories or legends? Um, well my hometown, as you say, it isn't like really connected, so there's no real legends or anything like that, and plus I just live in my own wo little world with my friends and family, in, in gaming. So there's no, I don't know any of real urban legends, um, but I know like urban legends of Australia, but just not my area. Um, question six, what is your favorite urban legend? Now there used to be this um, little cartoon when I was little called Red Dot. It was about a kangaroo and there's a little ginger girl. And uh, she found this, this kangaroo called Red Dot and they went off and had adventures and shit. Um, but there was this thing called the Bunyip. 
and it was, I think it was, it's a dream time. It's like, if you don't know what dream time, it's just like uh, Aboriginal storytelling. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was part of the dream time. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone. Uh, but I think it was called the Bunyip, and it would come out from the um, Billabong and just eat you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I used to be quite scared of that, so I wouldn't go around the lake when I was little until I realized that it's probably not real. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's my favorite urban legend. Uh, question seven, uh, what is your scariest nightmare? Uh, I'm horrifically scared of spiders. Uh, so I remember one time I was, uh, it, it was pretty much me fighting this massive spider and I was on the web trying to escape and it was just the spiders and shit everywhere. That was pretty, that was, uh, pretty scary. And, uh, if you don't know what I mean, um, I might be, I think I'm arachnophobic. I don't, I don't know if I am or not, but I'm just pissed scared of spiders. Uh, but yeah, so that was the final question. This is it for the scary question tag. Um, sorry guys, before I end it there, um, I was talking to one of you guys, fellow subscriber on the interwebs, um, and they were telling me, about their dog that got shot uh, by a bunch of fox hunters. And of course it's very sad and um, I agreed uh, to spread awareness for that. And uh, so just with your comments down below, could you put hashtag ban fox hunting for me? Uh, just to show some support for this person, uh, well their cousin, because um, it's their cousin's dog. But uh, yeah, so thanks. So much for that and I'll catch you later. Yeah, so this was a f really good tag to do. Um, let me know if you want me to put any gameplay in the background so you don't have to see my face or what on watch only my face all the time. Uh, but yeah, that'd be good. Uh, let's shoot for about five likes on this video. That'd be fantastic. Uh, make sure you jack it, tap that like button, comment down whatever you want. I'll reply to all of you. Subscribe for more content. Love to have you in our community and it's free, so why not? Uh, share my video around, share it on all the social medias like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, and all the blogs. Uh, share it with all your friends and family, that'd be fantastic, and get them to subscribe, because you know, that'd be awesome. So, thank you so much for watching, brush your teeth, wear deodorant, and peace, peace.